Mercedes is debuting its level three drive pilot in the US by the end of 2023. So the system will initially be available for EQS and the S-Class models. And the starting price for this drive pilot is $2,500 for the first year with more pricing expected to come later with more details. So the system has really has received level three certification. So for context, Tesla only has level two and this is the next level. So with automation and uh, self-driving cars, you can have level one all the way up to level five. Level five is that it just does everything itself. And level three means that you can kind of look away for a little bit and the car will not have you needing to take over immediately. So this drive pilot will operate in major cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, Bay Area, Sacramento, San Diego, and Las Vegas, as well as connecting freeways. When this level three assistance is activated, additional features like web browsing, watching YouTube and mini playing, like the system is going to be supported by various sensors, including LiDAR, cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors, along with a digital HD map. That's why it's only going to be released in those specific cities in America, because they, they have to have a HD map uh, of those areas in the computer beforehand, whereas if you look at the Tesla solution, they're building more generic solution, which can deal with any situation and using its machine learning system to do so. So the drive pilot will also have a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour due to its regulatory requirements. And it's going to be a subscription based service that will only be available in states where level three driving is permitted. So again, it's also limited by laws. So my take is this is cool that there's level three and that we're pushing the boundaries in more automation and self-driving. But if you compare it to uh, the level two of the Tesla, I almost feel like the level two of the Tesla is level three myself personally, but it's not as in that you need to be able to take over. And there are situations where it will uh, just freak out and have a bad time and you need to be able to take over. You can't be watching YouTube with a Tesla, but you feel like you almost could uh, so it can give you a false sense of security like that. The fact that it's limited to pre-map roads is really crap as well. So you're, you're going to be limited to where you can do it. It has to be specific highways, specific areas, things like that, which it kind of makes it a little bit useless. Like how much time is it going to take? Uh, I guess if you get one of these cars, oh, is my city going to have its, it, it, all of its streets mapped? And then if those, those streets are changed or there's a new dead end added, is it going to be able to cope or is it going to try and like run in through the dead end? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get to see it and we get to see some videos of it being in the wild. Are you excited about trying it out or is it kind of a bit, eh, let me know.